could reduce it. Um, you, so you don't you wouldn't reduce it if the bottom number has a the letter. Let me let me see if I can make up something where I okay, think well, you're trying to well, say let me like just, like let me this. Just okay. Tell you just an example. Like how about if it's just two and six x in the bottom? You know, um, can you simplify that, or you just leave it like that? How about this? Okay. How about this one? I think this is going to answer your question. Firstly, there's no x up here, right? Let's let's pretend we got down to this far. It's like some yeah. imaginary problem. Yeah. We got down to here. Can you do four minus twenty? Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. Don't forget you know how to subtract. How much is that going to be? Negative over eight x. Do you agree? Yes. This for sure you can simplify. Absolutely. This is a number over a number times a number. Okay. That you, is this answering your question? Yeah. In this case, you go okay. What number goes into both negative 16 and 8? Eight? Eight. Eight. Think bigger than 2. We got 8. 8, eight. eight goes into this negative 2 times. 8 goes into this 1 time. Your answer is negative 2 over x. That's it. You're definitely going to be doing this a lot. All the time for the next two classes you have, you do this a lot. Okay. Did this make sense to you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, you can. You need to know when you can simplify and when you can't. If you have something, pay, pay close attention up here, okay? If you have something that's connected with addition or subtraction that you cannot combine, like this, like that, you can't simplify any part of it. If you have something that's connected with addition and subtraction and you can combine it, then perhaps you can simplify it. But until you get one number over one number, or multiplying over multiplying, you cannot touch it with simplification. You can't cross anything out. That's the whole deal. Try that one on your own, OK? We'll deal with those ones in just a bit. Okay, 2 minus x over 3. First thing we're going to try to do is make this thing at least into a fraction. How do we make 2 into a fraction? Over 1. Awesome. Next thing we've got to do is find an LCD. What is your LCD for that problem? 3. So we're going to have LCD is 3. I don't need to multiply this one by anything because I already got the 3. However, here I need to multiply by 3 over 3. So I should be getting 6 over 3. Which, by the way, you can check your work, right? Is yeah. 6 over 3 still equal to 2? Yeah. Sure. You do it as you go. Minus x over 3. You're going to make this one fraction. You already have the common denominator. That's great. You're going to get 6 minus x over 3. How many people made it that far? Good deal. Now, the question for you, guys in the back, did you make it that far? The question I have for you, can you simplify the 6 and the 3? Yes or no? Yeah. No. 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 You gotta know this. No. Yeah. No, you can't. No, it's not multiplication. Good. Unless it was multiplication, I can't simplify it. Did you not simplify it? I hope. I hope you just left it just like that. Yeah. Okay. If it had been multiplication, then yes, you could. <laughs> Would you raise your hand feel okay with what we just talked about so far? Hey, now how do we find out whether a fraction is bigger than another fraction or not? For instance, if I look at 5 eighths and 11 twelfths, can you immediately see which one's bigger? Yeah. 20. 20's yeah. bigger? Yeah. Okay, so you're saying that this one's bigger than this one? No. Or this Five one's bigger? Or are they equal? Are they equal? No. Yeah, because they're both half plus I don't know. How do you find out? 
Well, here's the thing. If these things had the same denominator, would you be able to tell? Yeah. Yes. Easily. It's always Make them the same denominator. If you have the same denominator, yeah, then that's easy. But right here, I mean, a lot of you just said this number is bigger than this number. Well, let's find out because right now you're guessing and you don't know. So if you know how to find out whether a fraction is bigger if the denominators are the same, make the denominators the same. Go ahead and do that right now. It's just like adding or subtracting fractions, except we're not adding or subtracting them. Could you find your LCD out? Yes. 40. Very good. So we try 20. 20 doesn't work. Try the next one. 40. This 2 over 2. This 5 over 5. You get 25 over 40. You get 22 over 40. I don't know. You tell me. What's bigger? 25 40 or 22 40 25 40 is bigger than 25 40 No. 25 over 20. 25 is bigger. Hey, if you have the same denominator, what number is bigger? 25 or 22? 25. Definitely 25. That means that this is bigger. That means that this is bigger. 5 eighths is bigger than 11 20 eighths. And that's how you tell. You find a common denominator, and then automatically you just look at the numerators of those numbers, whatever one's bigger, that tells you what original fraction is bigger. Not you have you with me on that one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's try the next one. Let's do negative 2 sevenths and negative 1 third. Firstly, what are we going to do with those negatives? Put, Put them on the top. Numerator. Do that. Can you tell me the LCD for 7 and 3? Because right now I'm having a real hard time thinking in my head which is bigger, negative 2 sevenths or negative 1 third. That's kind of difficult, especially with those negatives. I don't know. But what's our L LCD then? 21. I don't know. We'll find out right now. Multiply by 7 over 7. We'll multiply by 3 over 3. So we'll get negative 6 over 21. We'll get negative 7 over 21. Are you seeing where we're getting the negative 6 and the negative 7 over 21? Okay, what number is bigger? Now that we got 21, this by the way, this is why we kept the this is why we kept the negatives on the numerator. So that we could just ignore these. What's bigger? Negative six, negative seven? Negative six. So this fraction is bigger? That means this fraction is bigger. Negative two sevenths is bigger than negative one third. You feel good about it? Yes. Okay with it? Yeah. Probably. Can you be okay with that? Yeah. All right. Would you like just like 20 problems like that? Yeah. yeah. I know, right? Be nice. <laughs>